is up everybody welcome back to the channel in the last video we drove from san antonio texas to arizona enjoying the changing landscape as we traveled in this video we're going to tombstone arizona the location of the ok corral and the famous 1881 gunfight featuring wyatt earp so we made it to tombstone and it was kind of windy today as well as cold the winds were gusting up to 70 miles per hour and that was the original reason for the last video and i found this spot on i overlander it costs ten dollars per day and is located two blocks from town which is extremely convenient there are no amenities such as water sewer and electric so we are boondocking finally we had our fresh water tank filled before we arrived and used the generator for the few days we were here this is an amazing area with beautiful views of the mountains. Tombstone, Arizona, known as the town too tough to die, was founded in 1879 by a prospector after he struck silver in the area. Soon after, many people from all over made their way to Tombstone for a chance to find silver and wealth in the mountains and hills. At the height of the silver boom, Tombstone's population grew from 100 to around 14,000 people within seven years and had a bowling alley, four churches, an ice house, a school, two banks, three newspapers, and an ice cream parlor, alongside 110 saloons, 14 gambling halls, and numerous dance halls and brothels, all of which were located among and atop silver mines. However, for every honest prospector, investor, or rancher coming to Tombstone were rustlers and outlaws with ill intentions. The such cowboys were the Clanton and McClory brothers. The cowboys were nonetheless welcome in town because of their free spending habits, but shootings were more common. In March 1881, three cowboys attempted to rob a Kinnear and Company stagecoach carrying $26,000 in silver bullion, which is approximately $730,000 in today's money, and route from Tombstone to Benson, which was the nearest railroad freight terminal. Near Drew Station, just outside Contention City, the stagecoach driver Eli Bud Philpot and a passenger named Peter Rorig, riding in the rear dicky seat, were both shot and killed. Deputy U.S. Marshal Virgil Earp and his temporary deputies and brothers Wyatt Earp and Morgan Earp pursued the cowboys suspected of the murders. This crime set off a chain of events that ended on October 26, 1881 with a gunfight in a vacant lot owned by photographer C.S. Fly near but not in or at the O.K. Corral during which the lawmen and Doc Holliday killed Tom McClory, Frank McClory, and Billy Clanton. This major event in history is known as the gunfight at the OK Corral. Tom McClory, Frank McClory, and Billy Clanton are a few of the many outlaws that were buried in Tombstone's Boot Hill graveyard and still reside there today. Water started seeping into mines in 1880, which continued its trend in 1881 and 1882 with two additional mines hitting water. This left mine managers scrambling for solutions of how to pump out the water, now covering up the silver deposits. In 1884, the Cornish engine was bought, installed, and used to pump water out of the mines. In 1886, the Grand Central hoist and pumping plant burned. The fire was so intense that the metal components of the Cornish engine melted and warped, as well as the headworks for the main mine shaft were destroyed. The production of silver never recovered to its former glory and the population of Tombstone started to fall to an all-time low of around 646 people in 1910. Since then, the town Too Tough to Die has evolved into a tourist attraction for many people and currently has a population of around 1,400 residents. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Drop your thoughts and comments down below. I'll see you next time.
going for a car ride.